and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I just did a Rectus Journal video, but I wanted to do episode 2 because I was so excited. And, um, yeah, I just really wanted to do some more Rectus Journal on camera. So, yeah, um, in my last video, I spent like 10 minutes, like the video was 10 minutes long. And I only did one page in the entire video. But that was because, like, the watercolor, the glue, and the paint, and everything took, like... A lot of time to dry and then the editing and recording and everything so in total everything lasted a week but now I am back um, with another Rectus journal video and I'm going to be trying to do I'm going to be trying to do more pages in this video than I did in my last Rectus journal video and the one of the first page that, the first page that I'm going to do today is infuse this page with a smell of your choosing okay so for um this page i had this idea to draw my favorite perfume bottle so um i will show my perfume bottle in a while but um yeah um my idea was just to draw a per the perfume bottle on one page and on the other page i would draw strawberries because the name of the perfume was strawberry pound cake so yeah, um, I messed up the drawing at first, but then I drew it again. So yeah, as you can see, um, this is just me trying to draw this, and I think I really struggled with drawing the um with the right the with the writing part to kind of just fit everything in it in and make it look good. So that's why my handwriting is really bad. Um, but yeah, first I was just going to sketch this out lightly, even though I know I didn't sketch it out very lightly. So yeah, now on the other page, um, I was just drawing strawberries. Um, these strawberries aren't the best, I'm not gonna lie. These strawberries look really weird, and for some reason I was really struggling with this specific strawberry. I really have no idea, idea why. First it was too fat, then it was too thin, but, um, eventually I just got the hang of it. I feel like there's more um, strawberries on the bottom part than on the top part. On the top part, there's only two strawberries, and on the bottom, I think there's four. Yeah, there's four. So yeah, now I was just um, erasing everything just enough so I could still see it because I needed to trace it. And once I'm done tracing it, I need to make sure that like you can see the pencil marks so it's, it looks really bad. So here I was using my Micron pen to just... Um, um go over everything and um i just unboxed this pen in one of my recent videos um this pen is really good actually if you really if you need a black pen i'd really recommend getting this one um my tip was 0 0.50 i think um so it's a bit thick but yeah um it doesn't bleed through um well it bleeds through a little bit but not too much um, and it is waterproof, so yeah, um, I mean, it is a bit expensive, but yeah. So I still went over and erased everything, even after going over it with the black pen, because, you know, I just wanted it to look perfect, even though I know it wasn't going to look too perfect, but yeah. So next, I put a, some scrap paper underneath while I was coloring, because I was coloring with markers, and I didn't want the, um, colors to go on the other page, but, um, yeah, it did, so, I mean, there's really nothing to do about that. So, um, yeah, now I was going to color the strawberries with the pen side of my dual tip brush pens. But then I just decided the brush pen side was better. Because the pen side was just would just take me way too long. The brush pen side just looks better. So my coloring skills aren't the best, I know. And I've, I've seen a couple of YouTubers go over their, like, if you, they colored in a space that they weren't supposed to they go over with like a white pen or a white um acrylic marker or something like that i was thinking of doing that but like i don't know how it would turn how it would turn out and by the way as you, you can still see some of the pencil um lines which is bad because i really tried hard to cover that up but anyways for the seeds i did use the pen side because i feel like the brush side would just have made too much of a mess because, I mean, the seeds are tiny. I mean, the strawberry area was pretty much bigger than the seeds. Yeah, um, 
I I was thinking of using the pen side for coloring in the leaves the leaves part, but I didn't. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, I like this page, I guess. I don't like the drawing of this a lot. So yeah, if you don't know what I drew, um, I drew this, and this is what I'm going to. Um, and this is the smile that I'm going to put on these pages. And it's basically a perfume that's called Strawberry Pound Cake, and I really love it. It smells amazing. So, yeah, I just tried to draw the bottle there. I think so it looks really plain, but yeah. Just drew some strawberries here because, you know, it's Strawberry Pound Cake. So, yeah, um, since this says infused this page, I'm only going to infuse this page with the smell. And I usually put packaging tape over all my pages, but for this page, I'm not, so you can still... You can still smell the perfume for a long time. So I'm just going to put some perfume on here. I'm scared that the marker is going to be all weird, but whatever. Okay, so yeah. Um, I added like four sprays, I think. And the paper is really wet, and I'm scared the ink is going to like go all weird and stuff. But I feel like it would be harder to draw on um I should, I should have just sprayed in the cloud, but yeah, that's what I did. Um, so now I want to do a, another page, but probably when this dries, and um, as you can see, the ink is just trying to spread a lot, which is not good, but we'll see what kind of effect it gets. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. I should have, I should not, not sprayed over the strawberries, but let's see. Um, I can't swallow the page until here. But, um, yeah, let's do another page now. Okay, so the next page that I'm doing is fill this page with circles. And by the way, if you're wondering if the ink got all weird in the last page, in the, in the last page that I just did, I'm going to show you. So, I mean, the ink got really weird over here. And by the way, I can still smell the um, perfume. It got a bit weird here, but um, I think that's all. Um, and it got a bit weird over here too. And um, some of it bled here to this page, but it's fine because these strawberries bled here to the other page. I can just cover it with another piece of paper. Um, but yeah, let's just go to the page that we're doing right now. <clears throat> and yeah, I know you can see some of the pages I already did, so I guess they're kind of a spoiler, but whatever. Okay, so yeah. Back to the page that says, fill this page with circles. Now, I don't really have any specific idea for this page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going... I have all my color pencils laid out right in front of me right now. And I'm just going to take them and, take them and I'm just going to make circles on this page because I really cannot think of another idea. So, um, I really could not think of another idea for this page so i literally just followed the instructions and i didn't really do anything creative with this page um i just simply followed the instructions so i took my color pencils and i just started making circles in different sizes um in different colors um do these look the best? No. At first, I tried to make them look perfect, but then I realized that was going to take a really long time. So I just started to make them in really weird way. And like some of the circles, actually most of the circles, just look really wonky. And I'm not really satisfied with this page. In the end, I think it, it turned out to be a bit too simple. Um, in on camera, it doesn't look that simple, but I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty simple. So, um, yeah, um, these color pencils weren't exactly, like, the best quality. They were just normal Crayola pencils, which just goes to show that you can really use anything for a reckless journal or art in general. Um, and for some reason, I also used a white color pencil, why do I even need a white color pencil? You can't even see it. But, I mean, I just use a white color pencil for no random reason. I mean, I just had all my color pencils lying right in front of me, and I just kept picking up random color pencils. 
and the white one just happened to come in my hand so yeah okay so this is the finished result um and yeah it's shiny because i put some uh, clear packaging tape over it to protect the pages so they don't smear or get ripped or um if anything spills on them they don't get dirty but yeah um this page these pages look fine i mean it's really simple i decided to go really simple because i couldn't think of anything so i just simply follow the instructions but yeah so the next page i am going to be doing is way far back in the end um and it's this page this page says cover this page in tape create some kind of pattern okay so yeah this is how this page turned out by the way i did not um record a time lapse of me doing this because it was just taking me forever to do this anyways i just love how this page turned out it's so amazing and the pattern i made is really nice i think um i have a huge collection of washi tape and it finally came in handy the only problem i had with doing this is that washi tape is not that sticky so like it's really hard to put the tape on the book but i mean it's it's fine i guess um i got a result um it's a bit wonky oops okay yeah. so it's a bit wonky over here in this area but i mean i guess it's i guess it's fine um <clears throat> yeah so that was it for today i did three pages maybe in my next this journal video i'll do four or five who knows but um yeah that was it for today thank you for watching bye